welcome to this tutorial where we will explore an innovative approach to modernizing Django's applications using Astro as a front-end framework, without the need to convert your Django backend to a REST API. Why Astro with Django? Seamless integration. Keep your existing Django templates and gradually migrate to Astro. Enhance performance. Leverage Astro partial hydration and static site generation capabilities. Modern development. Access the latest front-end tool while maintaining Django's robust backend. No API required. Continue using Django's template system without building a separate REST API. Our starting point is a traditional Django application with a template that demonstrates common Jinja templates features. Conditional rendering if else statements, loop iterations for loops, variable interpolation. We will walk through the process of setting up Jastro in your Django settings, setting up an Astro frontend alongside our Django backend, converting Django template syntax to Astro components. Maintaining the same functionality while leveraging Astro's modern features. Let's start by configuring Django to work with Astro. First, open your settings.py file and add the following configurations. Set Astro port, typically it's 4321. Add Django Jastro to your installed apps. Configure the template backend to use Jastro. Now that we have our Django configuration ready, let's set up the front-end part of our application. First, let's create a new Astro project. Run the following command to create a new Astro project. When prompted, choose the project name, select empty as your template, choose node to install dependencies and choose node for TypeScript. After the Astro project is created successfully, we can proceed with Cleaner. Delete the following files from the frontend directory. Package.json and package.log.json We'll use the root level package.json that was shown earlier to manage all other dependencies and scripts. Here are the key dependencies we will need in our package JSON. And here are the essential scripts for development and deployment. We have updated our package JSON scripts to handle both Django backend and Astro frontend directories, allowing us to run both servers simultaneously during development. Now let's install our dependencies. Since the Jastro package officially recommends Astro version 2, but works perfectly fine with the latest version, we'll use the legacy pure tabs flag to avoid dependency conflict. This will install all required dependencies while bypassing pure dependency warning related to the Astro version. Now that we have everything set up, we can start our development server using the following command. This will start both the Astro development server and the Django development server concurrently. To ensure proper template rendering, rename your Astro template file to match your Django template name. In my case, it's demo template.astro. Now let's walk through converting our Django template to Astro. I will show you step by step how to recreate the same functionality using Jastro components. This process will help us maintain all the dynamic features while leveraging Astro modern architecture. First, we need to import the necessary text from the Jastro package. These components will help us replicate Django's template functionality in Astro. Let's start with the welcome message. In Django we used username for variable interpolation. In Astro we will use 
the variable component which serves the same purpose but with a different syntax. Notice how we use the expression attribute to specify which variable we want to display. This is similar to Django template variables but follows Astro components based approach. Next, let's handle conditional rendering. Our login status check needs to be converted. Django's if syntax to just row component based approach. The if component works similarly to Django's if statements, but it's more structured and follows modern component patterns. The else component is nested inside if, making the code hierarchically clear and maintainable. Finally, let's tackle the loop structure. Django's for loops are replaced with just row for component. This component requires two key parameters. Item name defines the variable name for each iteration, like item in Django's for item in items. Source list specifies the array or list we are iterating over. Here's how we implement the item list with nested conditional rendering. For reference on available components, consult the Jastro documentation link in the description. The documentation provides a comprehensive list of components for Django Astro integration. With our Astro components now set up, we can safely remove the original Django templates as they're no longer needed. To verify everything is working correctly, launch your application and when you visit localhost, uh, you will see the component rendered with the same structure as the original Django template. More importantly, when accessing the Django server directly, you will notice that all dynamic content and variables are being properly passed through and displayed in our new Astro frontend. If you are wondering how to handle expressions written inside class or style attributes, for example, if item name equals bike, uh, color will be red, you can leave them as they are, they will continue to work normally, as you can see in the browser. We have successfully transformed a traditional Django template into a modern Astro powered frontend while maintaining all the dynamic functionality. This hybrid approach gives us the best of the both worlds, Django's robust backend capabilities and Astro's modern frontend features. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave any question in the comments below.